Okay, so here we are with a patient who's had an ingrown toenail several times in the past. And he's got this recurrent little nail spicule that just keeps wanting to grow back. So he's had this portion of his nail removed before, but this little piece just wants to grow back. So we're just gonna do a little small procedure where we go in, remove this little piece of the nail, and get deep under here and put some medicine in there called phenol that will treat the matrix cells or the root of the nails so that this little nail spicule doesn't keep growing back on them. So first thing we do, he's already numb because we've already injected him with some 1% lidocaine plain. So his toe's getting numb. So we're gonna now put on our tourniquet here so that we don't have a lot of bleeding. So we just do that with a little Penrose drain that we've kind of cut down and our hemostat. We've already prepped them with a little bit of betadine. Now we're going to take our freer and we're going to kind of free around this nail spicule. Again, he's nice and numb. He got 5 cc's of 1% lidocaine plain. So our patient here doesn't feel any pain. but. He'll feel a little bit of pressure as we kind of get in here and loosen up the nail. And once we really isolate this nail spicule that keeps wanting to grow back, we'll pull it out. So. Even though you have a tourniquet on, you're still gonna get some bleeding because we didn't exsanguinate his toe. So there's still blood in his toe, but there's no new blood coming down to his toe because of the tourniquet. So it's a lot easier with the tourniquet because as you can imagine how much bleeding there would be without it. And it really obscures your vision. So, I think we have it pretty freed up there. And now we will try to grab that little piece of the nail. And again, it's right there. So we'll kind of try to get a good grip on it. And pull this piece out. I think. You can see how big that is. And there we go. So we pulled out this little piece. You can see that. It was all buried underneath his skin and causing him this kind of recurrent ingrown nail and pain. So that's out. Yay. Now what we want to make sure is that we got it all and there's no more because these things can be pretty tough and pretty resistant to treatment. Sometimes they just want to grow back over and over again. So you want to make sure you've really got under there and got out everything you can. I don't really feel anything else, so that feels pretty good. He's still got some nail here, so you can see his nail kind of goes along this curette here in a straight line, but then everything over this way has now been removed, so he shouldn't get that spicule anymore. We can just clean it up a little bit. He's got a little bit of excess skin there that we might want to get rid of just to clean it up, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna put a little medication that we call phenol into the area. And this 89% phenol will treat the root of the nail so that that little nail spicule doesn't come back again. So it essentially causes a chemical burn, burns the root of the nail, so those cells are not functional anymore and they'll stop growing new nail.
classically we'll do three treatments at 30 seconds each with the phenol and then we will flush it with a little bit of saline or some people like to use rubbing alcohol doesn't really matter as long as you flush the residual phenol out and then we'll put a little antibiotic ointment on there i like to use something called a marigel because it neutralizes the phenol and then a bandage and when the patient gets home either later tonight or first thing tomorrow morning he'll go ahead and remove the bandage and put a little neosporin and a band-aid on there every day for a couple weeks sometimes we'll have patients soak in some epsom salts and water because that will help kind of clean out the wound put a little ice on it if it's sore take some advil or some tylenol if they have any pain but this is just a small little procedure when you have a little regrowth after an ingrown toenail has been previously removed and you got a little piece of it that grows back. So we're just finishing up our second application of the phenol here. And we'll go ahead to application number three. Almost done. We'll just let that sit for a second. And then I like to flush it with a little saline or a wound cleanser, or you can use rubbing alcohol but anything to really get in there and flush out all the phenols so you stop the chemical burn that's been going on there. And we can just clean everything up. And we can see that he used to have that spicule there, it's been removed. Once this heals up, his nail will just be nice and straight. This skin will kind of naturally move over and fill in that gap, and it'll be hard to tell anything was done once he's done with the recovery process, which is usually a couple weeks at most. So we're putting our Amerigel on. That will neutralize the phenol that might have been left in there. And then we just put a small dressing on. I like to start with just a Band-Aid. Just so you have something non-stick. So when he removes it, it won't be painful. We'll put a few 2 by 2s on there because it's going to bleed a little bit when we let this tourniquet down. And we wrap it with this material called Coban or Coflex, just a good bandage hold everything in place. He has chosen bright green because green must be one of his favorite colors. Now he has a big green toe, but underneath the green, his ingrown toenail has been taken care of. I like to wrap it around their foot one time just to hold it on so the bandage doesn't pop off. And that is how we get rid of a recurrent chronic ingrown toenail that has been previously removed and resulted in this pesky nail spicule.